You know, OnePlus has already rolled out the Oxygen OS 14 update for the OnePlus 11, which is a stable update. And we already made a video on that. If you haven't watched it yet, go check it out. And recently, Realme has rolled out the early release of Realme UI 5 based on Android 14 on the Realme 11 Pro. Now, why am I talking about OnePlus and Realme in the same breath? Because they are very similar in terms of all the new features that have been added. So Realme UI equal to Oxygen OS, which is to be expected considering all of these are based on, you know, Color OS code base, open we all know that already. Anyway, let's take a look at what's new in Realme UI and if there's anything different from Oxygen OS at all and wait till the end to find out the answer to that. If you're here for the first time, I'm Ashad. You're watching Track and Take English, your destination for detailed, incisive gadget reviews. Now, if you're wondering when your Realme phone will get Realme UI 5, well, there is the roadmap in front of you and I guess it'll take a while for the stable release to actually reach phones. Even right now, we're running the early release. So there are some things that work, some things that don't. I will talk about that as well. Starting off with the common things between Oxygen OS 14 and Realme UI 5. Now, on both these systems, you have the new file dock, which which is basically like an enhanced version of a clipboard. So you can save your documents, your photos, everything in the file dock which sits inside the smart sidebar. And you can invoke the smart sidebar anytime and it is very useful to actually pick the content from there, whether it's documents, whether it's photos and put it into any app that you want. Also new but a very similar feature to the file dock is the recent files feature. Now this also sits within the smart sidebar and whatever recent files that you've downloaded, that you've you know copied, all of that will show up over there in the recent file settings and it is broken down into documents and photos. Again, just like the file doc, you can pick these recent files and drag and drop them into any app of choice. Now, one feature that I really appreciate being added on both Oxygen OS and Realme UI is the stop charging at 80% option. Now, with this option, you can stop charging at 80%, something which Apple, Asus, a lot of other brands have been doing for a while. Now, when you set this feature on, your battery longevity improves and the battery cycles also improve. So therefore, you won't need to change your battery very often. Now, one feature that's definitely inspired from iOS and available on both these uh, uh, you know, operating systems, Realme UI and Oxygen OS is Smart Suggestions. Now with Smart Suggestions, essentially what you get is a dynamic island-like setup. Now we tested out the new Smart Suggestions feature on both Oxygen OS and Realme UI and it's working properly only on Oxygen OS right now. Essentially what this does is if you set a timer and minimize the app, then it creates a dynamic island-like uh, you know, toggle at the top from where you can uh, immediately access your timer. And there are some other app options as well, including delivery apps like Swiggy and Zomato. Now, when we tested this feature on Realme UI, for some odd reason, it just wasn't working properly. We would switch on smart suggestions, then it would switch it off by itself. There is Zomato and Swiggy integration, but for some odd reason, it just wasn't working. So I guess that it will become better in future releases. So we are waiting for that. However, that feature does exist. Now, a couple of new features that are present on both the operating systems are visual upgrades. For example, the carbon footprint AOD. In fact, there are a couple of new AODs that have been added, which includes this carbon footprint AOD. And essentially what this does is that it shows you the CO2 level or the reduction in CO2 level, depending on how many steps you've tracked. So you're saving carbon footprint. That's good. But I'm really curious, are you somebody who uses always on display on your phone? Because I just don't see any use for it because I generally, you know, whenever I take the phone out, I'm going to unlock the screen anyway. So I don't know, I, I don't have any use for it. Do you guys have use for it? Let me know in the comments below. Moving on, you've got aquamorphic ringtones. Exactly the same ones that were introduced on Oxygen OS 14 are there on Realme UI 5 as well. These are nature inspired ringtones and they do sound good. Take a listen for yourself. Now, the final feature that I really appreciate on both these systems is the fact that the Link to Windows feature has now been baked into the system itself. You don't have to download a separate app. Now, with Link to Windows, you can use your apps on Windows, you can check your messages, you can check your phone calls, all of those things. Now, the Photos app has also received a few new features and again, similar features across both the systems. Now, for example, if you take multiple photos, maybe in a burst shot, you can actually create a GIF out of it. It is pretty fun. But what I really like is the auto pixelate feature, which is an AI enabled feature and it works really well too. On any photo that you take and if it has any sensitive information with auto pixelate, the app itself auto pixelates it for you. For example, if you take a screenshot of a WhatsApp conversation, then it will blur out the number or even faces of people. I think it's a really cool and innovative feature, uh, something that I definitely will have use for. Inside the camera app, we noticed one upgrade on Oxygen OS, which is also present on Realme UI, which is interval based shooting or interval shooting. Essentially, you can set the number of pictures that you want to take in the you know seconds that you want to take it in and you can use that for interval shooting. It's pretty useful. Couple of Android 14 specific things that are present on both the operating systems is predictive back gesture 
and the Android 14 Easter egg. We tried out the predictive back gesture and it works fairly well, no problem. Now, two features that are present on Oxygen OS, but not on real MIUI. Maybe not right now, but it'll come later. The first one is home screen search. Essentially, this feature was introduced in, uh, you know, ColorOS code base last year itself. And now that's moved on to Oxygen OS. That's also probably going to come to Realme UI as well. It's nothing. If you've used an iPhone, you know how it works. From the home screen itself, you can do a search. There's a search toggle at the bottom. That's it. Another very useful feature on Oxygen OS 14 that hasn't been ported to Realme UI is the app specific refresh rate, where you can actually set the refresh rate, uh, the specific refresh rate for any app that you want. Now, two photos app features that are absent on uh, Realme UI, but present on Oxygen OS actually should have been present on Realme UI as well. The first thing is smart cutout. Essentially, if you take a picture of a person, you can just cut out that person from there and then use them as a sticker, use them as a GIF, whatever it is, wherever you want to. Now, this is a software feature that almost every single operating system has adopted, but Realme UI right now, again, I presume that this feature will come in the future. And one interesting new thing that you can do with Oxygen OS is that you can extract content from screenshot, not just text, but also images, which is not possible on Realme UI. Now, there are a few things that are improved on Realme UI, which was to be expected in is that Realme UI has better animations now. It's faster, it's smoother. In fact, it used to be really good even before, but now it's become even better. And both Oxygen OS uh, on uh, you know, the OnePlus 11 and Realme UI on the Realme 11 Pro, again, two different price categories, actually do feel very smooth and very responsive. Also, there's an improved speech to text implementation. We don't know exactly how it works, but maybe it's converting to text faster. Uh, apparently, it will highlight text, important text for you. We couldn't test that out, but that feature exists. So these were all the new features on Realme UI 5 uh, compared to Oxygen OS 14. It might seem like a repetition of the Oxygen OS 14 video for those who have watched it. But for the Realme users who skipped the Oxygen OS 14 video, well, Realme UI 5 and Oxygen OS 14 are very, very similar. But I think OnePlus is moving faster on the operating system updates compared to Realme. Realme is slightly behind. And what I notice is that you get better feature on Oxygen OS 14 and uh, you also have the update already available on many phones. So Realme, you might have to pick up your pace. By the way, one thing I expected Realme UI to do with Realme UI 5 is reduce the amount of bloatware. Well, that's not happened. Every single bloatware app still exists. But thankfully, Enhanced Intelligence Services is off by default, so that's a good thing. All right, what do you guys think of this video? Let me know in the comments below. I hope it was useful, and we're gonna be making more software-based videos, primarily because I know that it is very important for you to see what your phone will look like in the near future. I'll see you guys in the next one. Until then, keep tracking and stay safe.